Hey beautifuls, so I'm back with another video and today I'm thinking what would I face? Any ideas? So this is going to be like a tutorial on a cut piece that I've been wanting to do for a little while. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Today before I continue um, with my eye makeup, I just wanted to mention that I'm going to be using a very special product um, and it's some pressed glitters that were actually created by a local makeup artist in my country. Her name is Tanisha Garnet Billington and so um, these are the pressed glitters that I'm going to be using today. These were created by her. She has her own packaging, her own logo, she does everything. Um, this is like a, this is like the color scheme card with the various colors that are available in the glitter. And so, um, today I'm going to be using a few of these colors. In this makeup look, I'm going to be using Purple Moon as well as Star Strong. So these are her glitters and um, she's not only a local makeup artist but she's also an international makeup artist who lives in New Jersey. So um, I'm going to be trying these out in my look today and I'm going to be giving a full review as well as my feedback on them. Um, as a part of this um, complimentary package that she provided there's also a flyer with her handiwork um, she does modeling she does pageantry she does makeup looks for special effects body painting she also does stuff for weddings so these are what her works look like um, these are also her modeling photos so you get a full look at everything that she does from graphics, special effects, to horror. She's like really good at her work and um, I'm excited to try these glitters today in this makeup look. As I said, I'm going to be using um, Purple Moon and Starstruck. And they are produced, manufactured, and labeled by Tanisha, Tanisha Garnet. Sorry. These are what they look like. I'm just going to show you them once again. These are the ones that I'll be using today. And um, there's also another one 
I've used this before and this one was pretty nice. The name of this shade is Dragon Scale. So um on to the press better look. My look is all finished and now we're going to go on to the face. On their eyes. Don't mind this. I've had it. I've had it like for months. That'd be serving. So guys, this is the, fi the finished look and um, today I decided to do this video for a, a first impressions and um, to review the lovely Tanisha Garnett glitters. Um, I mentioned it early in the video, she does um, modeling, pageantry, special effects, makeup, body painting. And a whole lot of stuff so these are her glitters she actually has a palette and um it's branded flawless tenacia that's the brand um these are her 12 glitters that are usually included in the pan she also sells loose glitters this is one of them this shade is called dragon scales and the colors that I use today are in this set. There is the Starstruck, which is the silver shade in the middle. Excuse me. And there is the Purple Moon, which is this shade. And I did them today in this tutorial. Now, first impressions, these were really good and they actually have an holographic appearance. So, like for instance, the shade that I use today, Purple Moon, this actually has some hints of pink in it, so I really liked that. Um, the silver was really good. The um, consistency, it was a bit chunky to deal with. I've seen other persons review their first impressions of glitter injections. Some persons have actually refused to buy because of the high cost, but um, this is... This was kind of chunky. 
I would say to pick it up with the um, flat shader brush it was a bit hard um, one of the brushes that I used was this so it picked up it picked up a bit chunky and the um, texture was very smooth it laid very smooth on the eyes it smelled really good like there are some hints of flavor um, not flavor sorry scent in it I'm not sure if it's like a floral or a sweeted scent but it smells really good and um, this was so fantastic so um, I kind of did most of my stuff off camera in between I did some of the stuff on camera some of them I speeded it up but um, the last thing I'm gonna do today will be my mascara this is by Rimmel London I've had this for a pretty long time so most of the information if not all of it is already worn off so this is what I'm gonna do today lastly um, I wouldn't be using any falsies that's the only thing I haven't added to this look I've done everything else except falsies If you guys are wondering what is this, this is actually my mirror. But I'm almost finished holding these babies. In three, two, one. Yes. Finished. So this is the finished look um, and all I'm going to say is if you like my video please thumbs it up, if you have any questions, if you'd like to ask anything about the glitters, if you like any of the products, if you'd like to have a review on them, if you'd like for me to do a personal video on a particular product be sure to comment, you can also private message me, I'll be sure to answer them. and anything else you will see down below in the description box if I forgot to mention it if my if I forgot to mention it in my video it will be down below in the description box please subscribe to my channel it's the big red button right below the video on your left hand side of the screen so my ipsy code I'm also an ipsy member I've signed up with ipsy for about three months now so it's a subscription that provides you with five beauty products sometimes it's travel size sometimes it's full size and they send you that every month for just ten dollars so if you'd like to subscribe and be an ipsy, an ipsy sister like me I have my ipsy link below so feel free to go ahead and subscribe if you have any questions on this book my ipsy code feel free to comment down below I'll be sure and ready to answer all of your questions so that's it for today's video I want to wish you guys a happy weekend and wherever you are whatever you're doing I hope you have the most amazing day and I'll see you guys on my next video bye